Yo, 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 what the fuck is going on, man? It's John Grimstad with Dope Talk TV Networks. I have a special motherfucking guest in the house. He came all the way from Orlando, made a drive. Eddie Perez, Bruno. He's a motherfucking purple belt. He's a pro fighter. He'll whoop your fucking ass. I seen it with my own eyes. El Taino, he's Puerto Rican. We're from PR. So shout out to you, bro. I appreciate you coming, bro. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good, bro. You know, just chilling. Chilling and shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> How's work going? Uh, it's busy, man. It's been real busy. It's been nice out. So, you know, the sunnier it is, the busy I get with auto glass. Yeah, bro. That's crazy, man. So you won that fight, man. How how was that? How was that feeling, bro? Because wow. I was there. I saw it, guys, f- firsthand. You know what I mean? I, I saw Cedric fight. I saw my dog Bruno fight. I heard his fucking family in the background. Whoop his fucking ass, Bruno. <laughs> Whoop his ass. But yeah, man, how how was that? How was that feeling, bro? Um, it was it felt great, you know, I won. So it was a hard fight. Like I didn't I mean, like I expect like I watched footage on on Hunter and um I expected it to be tough. Like I knew he was a dog just like me, you know, but um he uh he called me early in the first round, like I said at the end of the fight. Like and I keep telling people that like, people don't believe me, like he really called me good in my rib and I was just fighting the whole fight hurt. So I didn't pop how I pop. Like, if you've seen me fight before, like, I throw a lot more knees. I'm more explosive. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm more active. And he just, like, he called me good in my ribs, and he made me, like, get technical, bro. He made me sit down and, like, shit, all right, now I got to pick my shots. I yeah. Can't. <laughs> what round was that? Was that, like, in the beginning, beginning? Yeah. Like, you could see it. Um, there's even, it's funny because Combat and I posted pictures of the fight and videos, and you could see in the pictures when he landed me. Like the knee and the yeah. ribs, and you can see my face that I'm hurt. Like I'm like, oh, this ugly ass face. Yeah, in my bro, picture. that's crazy. I mean, they say that body shots are like the worst, right? Um, like the yeah. liver shots or something like that. Yeah, that and that's yeah. It was like a liver shot that, bro. I felt it in my liver, my lung. Like it took all my air out. Yeah. So yeah, I was. And that that's insane, man. And I saw a lot of like, bro. It looked like y'all were exhausted by the end of it like y'all were like tired bro like honestly like i felt like obviously we just fought for fucking 15 minutes you yeah know what I mean? of course like, we, we tired but like i wasn't like out of it like i could still go i was just hurt like that yeah. rip shit like it fucked with my breathing but i i like you know i didn't get tired like yeah i, was, yeah. I controlled it you get what i'm yeah, saying yeah. like i paced myself that's part of like, being a pro fighter yeah you yeah. learn how to to uh how do you say that control that control your breathing and all that shit right how how important is the the breathing control and all that super important um you definitely got to control your breathing like how you breathe um because you don't want to like overdo it like taking too much oxygen or not enough oxygen because people like sometimes they don't even know it a lot of times some fighters i've seen fighters where they fight and like they hold in their breath like i don't know why some people do that and they like they tend to like oxygen deprive themselves and at the end I of never fight, heard of that. Yeah, people oxygen deprive themselves. Like a lot of people hold their breath when they punch, and you're actually like when they punch or kick or strike, they hold their breath to think they think they hit harder like that, but they don't. Like you need to breathe. That's that's crazy, man. That's there's like a lot of science that that's like right behind fighting and all that. Um, what do you what do you feel like is your 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 top three goals for this year? Uh, for sure, at least get like two more fights and um just. Make more money, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just make bro. Make money, take care of my kids. You know, the economy right now is kind of like it's just shitty. I feel like everyone is like going through it, bro. You know, what I mean, even like out of this country, like because I have cousins that live like out of the country in Norway, and they like they write me all the time. They're like, bro, like it's it's happening here. It's everywhere, bro. It's bad right now. Yeah, it is. It's bad everywhere. Everybody feeling this inflation shit. Yeah, exactly, bro. Like, luckily, I got some fucking chickens in the back and shit, popping some eggs. Yo, <laughs> yo, for real. Yo, it's so funny. I seen a meme uh, recently going around like, oh, everybody wanted to breed Frenchies. Now, yeah, look, but, yeah, eggs are hundred dollars, <laughs> bro. For real, that's that crazy. Was so funny. <laughs> they say that uh, Frenchies are the number one dog now in America. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, that's insane. I see a lot of people I hating on it though. Well. It, Yes, and yeah, I've seen the hate, and you're right, but I see more love towards the Frenchies. I mean, me personally, I have a Frenchie, so like, that's yeah, like, that's you. my baby, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. But like, they do come with a lot of issues. People don't realize it, like the skin, like I got to take him to the to the vet because he's allergic to the grass. Oh, wow. You know, it's crazy. That's actually like pretty common with the bullies, because um, my friend has a bully, same thing, allergic to grass. And I, 
I used to breed English Bulldogs and I used to have like a lot of English Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. So I know all about that because the Frenchies and the bull English Bulldogs, yeah. they got the same. They like, got the problems. same thing. The English is like are a little bit bigger and they're the ones that ride the skateboard, I think, right? That's the they, one. Yeah, they're the ones really fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those, I think my boy Chris has one, one of those and those like the wrinkles, bro, they got it. You got to make sure they're clean, bro. They can get affected. Yup, they get cherry eyed. That, cherry eyed. But they yep. say like, it's like, that's like more of like a genetic thing and how they're, they were like raised and shit. So the, I, don't know. I don't know, something like that. Um, but yeah, so you won that motherfucking fight. Shout out to you, bro. <laughs> I shout out to Hunter because... You know, he he looked like he fucking put in some work too, but hey, it happens, you know. And you know, you know what's crazy, man, what I realized, I didn't I didn't realize how hard it is to get to a certain weight for like certain classes. Oh yeah. Like I didn't realize it. You know, I hear fighters call in Mitch sometimes and they're like, yo, bro, like, I gotta get to this certain weight. And they're sitting there's literally sitting in the sauna right now, or they're literally fucking, you know, training at that very moment. Um, what's the What's the process like? What's your process of losing weight? Because I've seen you lose a lot of weight, bro. For me, I got really big because of injuries. Yeah. Like, I had uh, had to get knee surgery. Like, I, okay. got, I got hurt, like, on the job back. So, I'm f I'm from the Bronx, New York, and I used to work as an EMT. Um, yeah. For St. Barnabas Hospital in FDNY in the South Bronx. And I ended up getting hurt, like, transporting a patient once. And, like, it messed up my knee and I had to get surgery. Mm. So, like, I couldn't walk for a year. I was on pain medication. Of course. You know? Yeah. And obviously, I got depressed. You know? Yeah, that shit fucks with you, bro. Yeah, that shit, that's how they get you hooked, too. I yeah, swear. 100%. And, like, I guess mine was different because I tore everything in my knee. I tore my MCL, my LCL, my ACL, my meniscus, the ligament that connects the patella. So I Ooh. couldn't walk. Like, I couldn't put no weight on it for like a year. So I went up to like almost 300 pounds. That was the biggest I've ever Yeah, I was like, my heaviest was like uh, 289 or 293. Damn, damn, you're big, bro. Yeah, I had titties. You had titties? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, but now you're ripped, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah, like, what's your diet? So, like, um, what do you eat? I just, honestly, like, I just cut all the bullshit. I just eat real food now, and I don't really got a diet. Like, I'm maintaining my weight. Like, I stay active. Um, Now that I'm not in fight camp, I'm just chilling. I just... I still try to make it to the gym at least like three days out the week, get some drilling in. And yeah. um, I still lift like twice, twice out the week. Nothing crazy. Like I'm trying. It's just like at this point, it's become a part of my life. Like routine is part of like if I'm not doing something in it, like it's like I'm not something's wrong. Yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? yeah. 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 For sure. That's how I am too, bro. Like, but, if, um, yeah. Yeah. But my diet now is just I just eat real food, man. I cut out all the fast food. Like I don't like that GMO. Like I look for, you know, non GMO foods. Like, yeah, I still eat meat. You know, I love seafood. You know? <sighs> bro, I, I eat you know, seafood all eat, the time. Bro. I, I just cut out. I love seafood, man. But I just cut out like, like I said, like McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that fake stuff, bro. bro like I can't look at it. The, I can't look at it the same, bro. It makes me fucking oh, want to throw that, up bro. now. None of that is real food. So it's, it's not. like your body doesn't process it or digest it, right? Yeah. So like it sticks to you and it like bro. people end up getting cancer and like bro, people get sick. Like, exactly. They don't know what they put in their body. And, and they think it's all good, you know? I Bro, I went out drinking this weekend and there was nothing open. That's how they get you. There's nothing else open in this area, bro. So it's just McDonald's or like Wawa. And you can only eat so many subs, right? So yep. fuck, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it. I said, nah, I'm going to go to sleep and I'm just going to deal with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck that, bro. You know, there's a lot of things that are happening in this world right now that's like changing, bro. You notice that? Like in the past 20 years, you know? Well, I feel like the last five or three years is just. Like, 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 like we went to shit, like, <laughs> bro, like so much shit is going on. Um, what's your, what's your? I'm just gonna jump straight into it, bro. Good. What's, what's your opinion on trans fighters, and would you ever fight one? Um, I don't. Know. <laughs> I gotta be what you say nowadays. So. Nah, bro. That's been a nah, crazy bro. question. It is, it is, man. But, it is, man. Um, but my opinion, um, I'm gonna just keep it real. Like, yeah. Bro. No, I don't really give a fuck what nobody think about me. Exactly, so bro. Say like, what it is. Yeah, um, bro. Most of the people watching the show and follow us are on our side. I promise you. I, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, like, people yeah. think what they want. But, exactly. Um, I just don't think, like, I don't approve of it. Like, whatever. If you want to be trans, like, all right, cool. But if you're going to fight, then fight where you were born. If, you know, if you're a man, 
trying to fight as a woman like that doesn't you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's like bro like what are you what are you getting out of that yeah like what the f- what type of weird sick pleasure are you getting out of that like, i just don't think it's fair at the end of the day because yeah. a man is stronger than a woman okay so right there ah, i don't know like i'm like not trying to be sound none no i know some strong women no, there's, that's all well, i'm saying there bro. are there are some strong women bro, like, without got, the steroids though i'm talking about without no, the steroids 100 percent. no like bro i know chicks that will demolish men yeah naturally yeah yeah naturally if you're yeah. pro, if she are they pro fighters pro fighters or, I know or, like or, or they just like bro, I'm they, from the Bronx all okay. right women out there different okay. let me tell you I'm not me. I'm not from the Bronx I'm, you know my, my grandfather and my grandma they're from they're from the Bronx but I'm from Florida so I don't really know too much nah, about I'm New York I'm from the Bronx New York bro yeah. I grew up in the projects so I just you seen I, some shit yeah and I got older sisters so I got a lot of older sisters. I used to get my ass whooped by girls yeah. all the time bro up. yeah that's what that's what uh, my best friend cuz he has a sister too and that's funny. His older sister, and they used to fight and shit. She used to whoop his ass. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say, like I said, that women are stronger than men. I feel like, I mean, I mean, physically, I guess yes, I guess whatever. Like there is this. Can't yeah. even say that physically because some women are just born different. They're like, born built, and don't get yeah, me wrong. Get I'm not I'm saying, saying that like, a woman can't beat a man's ass because I've seen it on video. I've seen women. Well, I know beat, they can. Yeah, I know they can. You know, I train with some, so I know they can. Exactly. Shit, you so, ever been to Fusion? Go to Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. But a few so, so, it, so, so, so Eddie, so Eddie, real like real talk. So if a trans was like, listen, I want to fight you right now. I'm a man. I'm a man now. I take testosterone shots. I want to fucking fight you. Well, like a, a girl that was born and she wants to fight me. I mean, bro, I probably just let her with my ass. Like not fucked up. Like mm. no, not trying to be like See, weird or nothing. Yeah, like yeah. I just. It's hard, bro, for me. Like, yeah. even when, like, I train at the gym and I got to spar with females, like, nothing against them. I know they mad good and, like, yeah. strong. Like, yeah. But I just, I don't, like, I, you know, my mom raised me. I got a daughter. I got, bro, I got 12 older sisters. Like, yeah. I'm the youngest. Like, you know, it's hard for me to, like, even, I just can't. Like, it's hard. Like, yeah. It's hard for me to hit back, like, a female. So, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, I don't hard. even think they, they even approve that, do they? Like, how, does that happen? I mean, just like not I don't sparring even and shit. Nowadays, bro, it's some crazy. Shit That's why I'm. Tr- on, that bro. yeah. Like, that, I mean, see some crazy shit lately. Shit, I don't even know what's 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 true and what's not and what's going on dude, and what's not I anymore. I think I saw a video the other day of some chick beat up like two old dudes the other day. It's like two versus one going on now, like in the internet. Yeah, and they're doing like you haven't seen those videos of the MMA fights where it's not just one on one no more. Yes, it's like I, one yeah. versus. Oh two. yeah, I did see that, bro. I see yeah. the chick demolish two dudes like in that shit. So I'm like, uh, I don't know about them not being stronger anymore. No, because like, you know my one of my good friends. He's a he's Mr. Florida 2013, and he showed me some of the women that you know he'd be competing with. You know, and these women are are extremely strong, like extremely. Like, I I seen some shit CrossFit. Okay, yeah, Yo, that, that CrossFit shit. And she's good, strong, bro. Like you could just see yeah. it in her back, bro. Like she's just strong as yeah, shit. Yeah. She could throw you, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I would have the heart to ever fight a woman. I don't know. Like honestly, like, I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. I don't think I'd ever have the heart to. But it just depends. Like honestly, because I feel like if somebody does something like fucked up enough, like yeah. you don't have the heart to do anything to whoever, right? Like, yeah, exactly. God forbid. You know what I'm saying? Or if like, it's money on the line, like hey. Yeah, like let's say like if I'm with my mom and some chick just comes and smacks hey. my mom. Hey, I, you know I'm gonna smack I'm gonna, her. Like, bro, my mama. I don't like, care if she's know, this. But, I don't care if she's mm-hmm. this big, and I'm looking up at her like this. I'll be like, that's a big bitch, but I'm still gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, man. You know, um, I was going through your page too. I saw that um, you, you got a, a pre workout sponsorship. Yeah, Blau, uh, Blau pre workout. My do uh, Bobby, um, yeah. from out there in New York. Like, yeah, man, he trains at Animals and uh, Yonkers. Mm-hmm. Um. Yonkers. It, Yonkers is, yeah, that's like the, up, I mean, it's not the Bronx, but it's like, it's right on the, the north side of the Bronx, like the, it's super close. Mm. It's super close. Like, it's, it's, it's right just right there. there. Yeah, like the north Bronx and Yonkers is right there. Like, you could cross. Mm. Like, it meets it. It's, yeah. How, like, the transportation, you you don't need a car. You be, you be just walking from block to block, right? Or take the subway. I mean, yeah, in the city, you don't need a car. Like, yeah. in New York, you could get anywhere. Like, there's everything. There's trains. There's taxis there's buses you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah you don't need a car yeah that's that's crazy in florida you do bro if you don't have a car in florida bro you're crazy 
Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Like, like something's going on, you know what I mean? Like you need a little Honda like me, you know what I'm saying? Like just driving around whipping that bitch. Uh, I'm what? just all this shit, man. I don't know bro, why people talk so much bro, shit about bro, bro, that car right there, I got into an accident, bro. You see my front bumper out there? That shit's like it's like a plastic out there, you know? I ain't really peeping, bro. Bro, I'm checking bro, bro, I fixed it, bro. That bitch still runs. Nothing's yeah. wrong with it. Nothing, bro. The Honda, bro. I, I vouch for Honda every day, bro. 100%. Me too. The car that I don't vouch for, though, I think is Kia, right? Kia. They're actually pretty good, man. I don't yes. know. I don't know. I just hear, I just look at reviews, you know? Yeah. Um, Kia, and then there's another one. Those Toyotas and Hondas. Yeah, they're good cars. All day, every day. I like Chevy. I've always liked Chevy, though. I've been a Chevy guy. Chevy guy? So you would get a truck, like a a Chevy truck? I got a Chevy. You got a (laughs) Chevy? I got a Chevy truck. Bro, I was looking at (laughs) trucks, bro, and they're expensive, brother. Yeah, it's crazy. I got lucky, so I got my truck, like, in 2020, like, right before the pandemic and everything. Smart. So I got it, like, compared now, like, it's crazy. My trucks are 2020, and I've seen, um, like, 2017s versions of my truck like i got a 2020 chevy colorado and i've seen like the 17s and the 18s um on dealerships for like double what i pay what i'm paying for mine because i finance mine so i'm still yeah. paying it yeah but i got mine for like 20 something and i'm seeing these shits for like fucking 40 40 30. now like i'm like oh shit yeah bro i was like i was complaining before i'm not complaining no more <laughs> for real bro so the weightlifting, bro you have to so most of the time i feel like it do you feel like you have to? Because I feel like you do. Work. Like, get, like do a cycle. Like, do these freaking steroids. These people be, like, freaking huge, bro. Like, competing, no? But I've always had, like... I'm not trying to, like, talk myself up. But I've always had, like, weird genetics. Like, I've always been, like, really fucking athletic. I'm um, always... I just... I blow up quick. Like, bro, just eating yeah. rice, beans, like, Puerto Rican food. Puerto Rican like, food. I just, yeah. And I get... Like, my metabolism's always been, like, super fast. Like, I drink... That's why I'm not touching the water. Because if I drink water, I'm going to have to use the bathroom in, like, 10 minutes. Damn. Yeah, bro. If I eat food, like, psh, gotta use the bathroom in, like, 30, 40 minutes. That's like, me. Yeah, that's me when I drink coffee instantly. No, that's me with anything. Like, I, that's oh. how fast my metabolism is. It oh, is shit. That's yeah. crazy, bro. That's just from eating right, right? Just eating good and and and, and training. I, I've always been like that, even as a kid. Damn. When was yeah. when was like your first fight ever? Ooh, shit. My first as a kid. I, whew, my first fight. I was um. It was in the Bronx. I was on the block in front of my building, thirteen eighty five, and it was over a girl, bro. I was like over a girl. Yeah, I was like fucking eight years. That's old. That's funny. My first fight was over a girl too. Yeah, like yeah. a street fight. My first street. Yeah, fight. yeah street yeah, fight. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like this dude was uh thought. So this dude's girl liked me and he thought I was trying to talk to her, I guess. And he came and um just wanted to fight. And I was like, all right. Like, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Yeah. Like, you yeah. Know, the fuck yeah. Kid. I was like, all right, whatever, let's fight. And I was going, I was throwing hands. This dude, I guess he was like, he was a little wrestler. It was my first encounter with fucking wrestlers yeah. as a kid. Oh, shit. And he got, yeah, he ended up taking my back and started choking me out. Yeah. My older brother, uh, Golo, came and knocked his no. little ass out. <laughs> Damn. My older bro was like, get the fuck off of my brother. Bro, bro, those wrestlers are no fucking joke when they get you to the ground, bro. But I didn't know what the fuck. I was like fucking eight years old. Like, I was a kid, bro. Like, you know, I didn't know. Like, I was in the Bronx. Like, I just knew how to throw hands because yeah. of school, you know. But that's, that's about it. In the Bronx, bro. I heard that they got like a good zoo. Is that true? They got a decent, like a Bronx zoo or some shit oh, like yeah, that? Oh, yeah, the Bronx zoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They the got Bronx the Bronx zoo. zoo. They say uh-huh. don't go to the beach, though. They said that the people were like... There's a lot of fucking dead bodies in that Hudson River or whatever, or in that fucking... Yeah, the beach they talk about in the Bronx, they talk about Chocha Beach. <laughs> Cho- about- Chocha Beach? <laughs> Why they call it that? Why they call uh, it that? It's, it's Orchard Beach, but it, we call it growing. If you're from the Bronx, you know that beach as Chocha Beach. The reason why they call it Chocha Beach is because that shit's so close to like Hus Point and like all the prostitutes back in the day. Oh, they would shit. go over there and shit like that. And... um. Like, people would do a lot of, like, hooky parties, like, cut school and shit like that. And they would go fuck on the beach. Damn. Bro, and, bro it's just nasty-ass <laughs> beach. Like, I don't get in that water, bro. Yeah. I'm, hell nah, bro. I've seen diapers, condoms floating in that shit. Ooh. Like, it's, yeah, it's bad, bro. You ever been to Philly? I heard Philly's bad, bro. I've, like, driven through it and, like, I've visited friends, but I never, like, hung out or nothing yeah. in Philly. Yeah, because, like, every person that I met from Philly, I mean, shout out to my Philly folks, you know what I mean? You know, Fresh bro, Prince of Bel-Air and all that shit, <laughs> and Meek Mill, you know? But, I fuck with Meek. Yeah, bro, Lil, Lil Uzi Vert, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Cassidy. I think Cassidy's from, yeah, and Lil Uzi Vert's from Philly, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Um, 
We just wouldn't think Lil Uzi Vert from Philly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's a little bit different. You know what I mean? That's that's that's, that's 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 the best word I could use. It's different, right? <laughs> I just I would have never guessed that. I listen but... to his music. You know what I'm saying? Not all of it, but you know some of it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man. Like I had some some good friends from Philly, and you know they're just they tell me they're like, bro. That is not the spot, bro. You don't want to pass by there. I've seen videos of like, I guess there's like an alleyway of just drug addicts just like frozen. And yeah, they're right they in front had of a school. documentary, I think, on that shit. On yeah. Netflix or something. Yeah, I know. You, I've, I've heard of it. But I mean, shit, bro. That's, bro, I feel like that's a little bit of everywhere because okay. you see them shits down here in Florida. You do. You do. I mean, in New York, that shit's just normal. Like in Harlem, yeah. like one, two, fifth, second half, yeah. fucking, you know what I mean? First half. Like, yeah. do you feel like the cartels? City, you feel like the cartels are like involved with the government? I don't know, bro. I'd be thinking, man, like, bro, there has to be. You know what I mean? Like, you're telling me that when they when they shot down fucking Pablo Escobar's plane and they found like or a CIA, it was a CIA fucking plane, bro, and they found cocaine, bricks of cocaine. That's insane, bro. A government plane, bro. I don't know, man. Like the documentaries, yeah. like someone's all getting paid all off, bro. I'm thinking is like, man, we probably shouldn't be talking about this. We shit shouldn't, on the bro. Podcast. No, we shouldn't, bro. And they're probably like, yo, they're catching on, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this motherfucker gonna give me shot. Nah, <laughs> for real, bro. You gotta be careful. You seen Andrew nah. Tate, bro? Yo, bro, that shit different, bro. Bro, he's. I don't know what to believe on that. Cause, I, I like, don't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know because the nigga said he was going to fucking get locked up. Yeah. Was dumb, and then and boom. boom. And everyone's talking about, it, like, yo, like, yo, they set him up. Blah, 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 blah. I, was bro, like, I don't really be knowing what, you know, other people got going in their life. Exactly. I'm worried about mine. Exactly. It's not my, yeah. my business. Because man. he could be doing something that we don't even know either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, apparently he's selling this, pussy. Yeah, Did, I mean, you I, ain't see that shit? He's, he got called for fucking human trafficking. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I, that that was kind of sketch, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of sketch, Super you know. Sketch. Especially somebody that talks about women, you know, all the time, and you know, he was right on a lot of things, you know. But again, we don't know a person till we know a person, right? Yeah. I feel like you're gonna retire. I don't know, um, because honestly, I thought I retired already. Like I, um. I had went through some stuff like at the beginning of my career and like I had to leave MMA alone for a while because of injuries. I didn't fight from like 2016 to like recently. That's when I started fighting again. Okay. My last pro fight was in uh, 2016. Mm. I ended up getting hurt and stuff. So, and I had a lot just going on. Um, so I don't know. So right now it's like, I don't know. Right now I'm fighting for like a purpose. Yeah. Obviously, you know. We love to get rich out of it. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, of but, course, uh, of course, yeah. Right now, I'm just trying to help it get me to a certain platform. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where I could catch attention from a lot of people. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, because not anyone can do that. Yeah, you know, you, you, you when you when you're walking out into that ring, bro, there's a chance of you getting hit the wrong way. One hundred percent. Every time we sign a contract, we're potentially signing our life away. Exactly, and then you got your kids there. You have you have children, I believe, too, right? One hundred percent. I got three kids. Three kids. Yeah. You've been busy, bro. Emma Rose, <laughs> Perez Bruno, Lionel Elias, Mendez, and Eddie Perez Bruno Jr. Shout out to you, bro. You know what's cool, man? All the fighters that's been through here, bro, like, I, there's one thing I noticed about y'all. Y'all are really good fathers. I didn't realize how much dedication it goes into fighting because you got to balance everything in life. You got to balance your kids. You got to balance, you know, you training, Hell working, yeah. the financial part. It's super hard, especially for me, because, like, I moved out here to Florida to chase this dream. So, it's like, I don't really get to see my kids right now. So, that's, like, super tough. Um, I get my son every summer, like, when he's not um, you know, in school. Uh, we FaceTime every night, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That type of shit, bro. Like, I didn't get that shit, bro. I didn't get no fucking FaceTime from my dad, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, barely yeah, a phone call. So, you know, stuff like that, you know, and you checking up on them and doing that every day, like... You know, that means something to them. It's the little things that matter. You know yeah, what I mean? 100%. Yeah. yeah, bro. No more kids, though? Um, I mean, who knows? Whatever. Honestly, I, man, I let man, I let God take the wheel a long time Facts. ago. So. Facts, bro. <laughs> For real. Take man, God, like, take the wheel. I don't have any kids yet, bro. I want one, though. You yeah, know? Bro, Jesus, God, he got the gas brake. He got the gas, the brakes, and the wheel right now for me, bro. Cause yeah, facts. Life be crazy. Yeah. Any more tattoos? Bro, I see you added up. Yeah, I'm definitely getting more. Yeah, man, how did 100%. that feel on your neck, bro? How did oh, that, that feel? That sucked. 
It sucked. For real? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I was like, oh, I want no cream next time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I tried that shit. That shit works, bro. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried it one time, and then I tried it without, and it was a little bit, yeah. Like, it, he, it, he, the tattoo artist, um, my my dude Seabass did this. Uh, Shout out to Seabass, by the okay. way. Okay, shout out to Seabass. Yeah, Yelp bro. And Pacheco Tattoos, uh, Natasha, Fire Ass Tattoos. Um, Pacheco Tattoos, check them out. Um, but, um... Yeah, so he has started this, but apparently, like, the numbing cream or whatever, you need to leave it on for, like, an hour. Yep. And, like, I tried my best at first, to, but, yeah, that shit sucked. So I was like, nah, throw that bitch on. But it didn't work for me because you're supposed to let it sit for an hour. Yep. And I didn't want to, like, stop and wait a whole hour. I was like, nah, keep working. Let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, because the longer you wait, the more it hurts later on. I feel like yeah, once you- Yeah, because it gets irritated. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. And I was like, bro, just finish it. Fuck it. I don't even want to stop. Just yeah. keep going. Yep. Yeah. yeah, bro. When's your next fight, bro? Um, I'm not sure right now. Uh, we talking about like the summer, cause like like I said, life is a little crazy for me right now. Um, excuse me, sorry. No, you're good, bro. Yeah, life's a little crazy for me right now. Yeah. So um, I was thinking about taking a break, but my coach is right. Like uh, me and my coach had talked about it, Paul Rodriguez. Um, he thinks I got like a good momentum going right now, and I'm. I'm healthy, I'm in shape, you know, and I'm active. Like, I should keep fighting right now. Yeah, for somebody that had injuries like that after you told me, bro, like, and I seen you fight. It's not like, I'm not bullshitting. I seen this 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 guy fight, bro. You know what I mean? So, you know, you did look healthy, bro. You look you look straight up there, bro. Yeah, I'm just trying to be smarter about it because I'm getting old. I'm 31 now. Oh, 31. So, okay. Yeah, I'm 31. So, I just, and my body, like I said, bro, like, I've been through a lot. Like, I've been, I was shot when I was 18. I was stabbed up when I was 15. God. I've been ran over. Um, I got hit in the face with like golf clubs, baseball bats growing up. Like I've been jumped a lot. I Damn, do- bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like yeah. I've been through. Like oh, so, it's, I'm just trying to be smarter um, about my fighting, especially um, because recently in the the fight I had last year, March against uh, Emery Oran, mm-hmm. um, the the Turkish dude. Okay. I ate a kick in the second round that broke my nose and my orbital bone, and I just I fought through it. I kept taking hits and I kept fighting and I ended up winning the fight. I finished him in the third round with a rear neck and choke. Damn. But I had to fight through injuries. Like I could barely see out my eye. Like I knew my face was broke. Like I knew something was wrong. I couldn't feel my teeth. Like I have permanent nerve damage now in my face. I can't feel my top teeth. So if you get punched in the face, you probably don't feel that bitch. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't feel it. That's like crazy. this whole side of my face, like I don't feel it when I get hit. Damn, I'm dead ass. That's wild. That's kind of that's, like, that's kind of helps you out a little bit. Yeah, I guess you get punched so, in the face. And you, you're like, fuck it, come on, keep it coming. Yeah, you know? but I mean, but you got your hands up most of the time, anyways. You yeah, know? yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I got to. I train with fucking Paul Rodriguez. My coach be popping my bottle all the time. Fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you ever watch the sparring videos? Bro? Nah, I be watching. I, I be watching like some some sparring videos. I'm like, man, y'all are, that that takes a type of animal, bro. Yo, bro, my coach is like. My coach Paul Rodriguez is the truth, bro. That dude is like taking my game to the next level. And I feel like I'm definitely like, and I'm not even done, bro. Like I'm just Yeah. You know, it's crazy people talk about like, oh, people, you're in your twenties, like, you know, that's where it's at, you know, you're good, that's where you health. Nah, bro. Now that I hit 31, like I don't it sounds crazy, but I feel more athletic now and I feel stronger now and more like I could do more than I could ever before. Yeah, they say that you're in your prime from like, you know, like 30 something all the way up to like that's crazy. Or I thought like that. it's yeah. like the early twenties. Yeah, but me I too. Feel yeah, like I'm hitting my prime now, and yeah, like I said, I'm just it's only up, bro. And uh, shout out to Julian Williams, um, Paul Rodriguez, black belt from Fusion, he's my bro, and one of my other coaches. Um, he's definitely helped me out a lot too. Um, definitely, I met him through my main head coach, uh, Paul Rodriguez. Um, yeah. So definitely gotta give them a shout out. I feel like my career, like it's just getting started. So good. That's good to hear, bro. Yeah. It's only up from here, so yeah, we're running out of time. Yo, I appreciate you, Eddie. Yo, to be honest, bro, I can't forget your name. You know why? Because that was my grandfather's name. Oh wow, Eddie, rest <laughs> in peace, Eddie. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, man. Yeah, bro, from from the Bronx. From yeah, the Bronx. yeah. <laughs> that's, crazy. that's crazy. Yo, bro, I appreciate you, bro. Um, anything else you got to say to the Dope Talk family? Uh, thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Cool. You already know. Yes, sir. All right, guys. See you. Peace. Oh, wait, wait. Can I say one more thing? One more thing. One more thing. My bad. Tomorrow's my daughter's birthday, Emma. Um, Tomorrow's going to be the fourth birthday. I don't get to see you Um, or say happy birthday. You turn eight tomorrow. Uh, Daddy loves you, and I'm going to keep fighting for you, baby girl. woo Yes, sir. Happy birthday.